I'm going to modify this program now and instead of starting a new activity or showing a new screen when the button gets clicked, we are going to get input from a user and then just repeat it back out using what's called toast. Uh, to get input from a user, we're going to add this plain text option from, Visual, from Android Studio. First thing you should do when you add an element uh, is to set its ID to something descriptive. And for the sake of this demonstration, we'll just say that the user is entering their favorite color or something. So I would call this TXT color for the ID. It really can be whatever you want, but uh, something descriptive is best. The hint property will show to a user to let them know what they're supposed to do. All right, so now back in the Java file, we need to create a place to hold what the user is going to type. The first thing we're going to do is create something to, to reference that text box. It's called the edit text. So we're going to create a, um, a place to store a reference to that and give that a name. We can give it any name we want. I'm going to call it fave color. It gets a green squiggly. That just means it's not being used yet, so there's no problem there. And now when the button's clicked, I want to store something in this fave color variable, which is capable of holding a, a reference to an edit text, text field. And here's the syntax for finding the uh, element on the on the activity that holds that text. So we're saying we're finding uh, something by its ID and then we're passing it the ID of our text box. I'm pasting in some code to do the toast and it sees when I'm pasting that there's some classes that haven't been imported. So you could say OK there and import them automatically or you can see that if you don't do that you can just hit Alt plus Enter to import things as we've done in previous videos. And these three lines of code are what enables the toast message, which you'll see is just like a little pop-up text. And you can read more about, about how toast works, but basically we're going to get the text out of that fave color variable that refers to the text in that text field. And now when we type something in here, Android Studio lets you use your regular keyboard, you press the button and it kind of gets cut off on my recording here. I'll try to move up a little bit. You see a little pop-up window shows up at the bottom. 